You know, the GEF uh, was so excited when the when the Caspian uh, program uh, came to us, with all the countries having interest in the in, in the sea. But but part of the sea, a critical part of the sea, relates to the river basins coming in. And when river basins have dams in them, uh, you stop the fisheries. Those that might not have dams enough still provide habitat for the for the fish to go back and forth. So so it's really critical to be able to have basins linked with their downstream systems. So that's why we're excited again when countries of the Kura and Eris Basin came to us and said they also want to be, be part of the situation. Um, but they have their own issues. They have two things to deal with. They have to deal with their issues on water and environment and the pollution. And then they also have to try to link with what's needed with regard to the downstream Caspian Sea. Um, I have hopes that through the processes that GF will, will fund, um, through a transboundary diagnostic and action program, that the countries of the, the Kura and Eris Basin will have a chance to glimpse their future. Their future can be one with, with all the climate change that were happening. The future is going to be one of floods and droughts. How do you grow food for your people in the drought without cooperation with the country upstream and downstream? How do you build structures to be able to capture water during floods so you'll be able to, to have water for irrigation, for the cities for water supply, for hydropower, and to allow the fish to survive unless you work together? So the future is really dim for many parts of the world. The the uh, prediction is more and more droughts, and when the rain comes, it comes more intensively, and you're going to have floods, so you have damage that way. So I think it's not, the question is not whether the Kur Eris is, has any importance to GF. I think the Kur Eris has great importance for the people of the basin, because without the ability to work together for benefits that you can have during drought times and flood times, your future is very little water, uh, you won't be able to grow the food, the fish will be gone, and then what do you do next? So the, thank you for the question, but it's really almost the wrong question. The question is, how can the, uh, the basin people be able to deal with their future? And they can do it by working together.